Hey friends, it's Judy Clock here at Stamping with Crafty Clock. And this was the demonstration I had planned to do on Tuesday for my live at lunch, except my husband was down in the basement working away and I didn't want to interrupt his forward progress. I'm happy to say that the walls are all up. Uh, now we just got to finish a little bit of the flooring and um, I think it'll be all finished. I'm pretty excited. But anyway, I wanted to play with my pastels because I really haven't played with these in a while and I thought you know we've got this really great new stamp set out called in the moment with this great line art and I thought this would really be great to try with our pastels and our like our watercolor painters or our aqua painters so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started and I'm going to stamp this image on a piece of watercolor paper uh, and I'm going to use our stays on now my stays on is kind of dry so it's going to take me a while to ink up my stamp but got just enough on here I think to get some ink on paper um but yeah it, it's old I need to either get a refill for it or buy a new stamp pad but it'll work for today so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it down here okay and I love this one reading a book with her puppy that's really what I love to do is I love to read a good book with a puppy just curl up on a nice cold day all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to kind of work from the top down. So I'm going to first come in with her hair, and I'm going to lay down. I have my, uh, like, my silicone mat underneath because it is going to get a little bit of water. So I'm just going to, like, kind of scribble this on there. And you see I get some of that, like, pastel dust on there. That's what we want. Now, our water painters have a couple of different sizes. We have a really thin one. Mm, kind of a thin one and a pretty thick one. We're not going to be using this one today because we're not really going to be painting any big spaces. Everything we're doing is really kind of fine line detail. So I'm going to work with mostly this one. I'm going to get a paper towel just to make sure. I should have brought down some of my Norwex counter cloths for this, but I forgot. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I have no color on my brush. And I'm going to add some water to my little pastel dust. And I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of just paint her hair first. Okay. So there we go. So this is just going to take a little bit of time. It doesn't take long. You can pick up as much color as you want. You can, you know, go over it. If you keep going over, I'm going to add a little bit, a little drop of water. There we go. And just kind of color that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down, I don't know, what color should we do her book? We'll do her book in purple maybe. Okay, again, just laying down some of that pastel dust, making sure my I get some water on there. Okay, and we're going to come back and we're going to just color the book. Okay. So we're going to do this. Now, once you, you've done this, you're going to have to like let it dry. So this is something, if you want to do this, you're going to have to let this dry before you finish your card. But I think you get the idea. It's really easy. You just kind of lay down a little bit of that pastel dust, and you could just keep going. Let's add some of the blue for her jeans. Okay. Got some blue down there. Let's go ahead and add some blue. Okay. You gotta watch the little dog's ear because his little ear is on her leg. You see how easy this goes on? It goes on pretty easy. It's, you know, don't be afraid to try new things. I mean, I wasn't, I'm certainly not an artist. I'm certainly not, you know, a painter by any means, but I'm like, well, I've got the pastels. Let me just try them. And, uh, you know, they work fine dry. They do. I mean, I just, I just happened to wanted to try them with the aqua painters, these little water filled paint brushes and just see kind of how I could do because I'm, you know, I like trying new things. You know, you got to keep trying new things, learning new things. Make her jeans just a little bit darker in through here. Okay. And her puppy there. Now her puppy, there's really not a good color for a puppy if you look. It's really not like a brown, so I don't know. So I think I'm gonna color her puppy 
with a uh, stamp and blend which is okay because he's just like a little accent so we're just going to go here i have soft suede and i'm just going to color her puppy just a little bit maybe not all of them we'll leave some of them white we'll give them some spots some color okay just going to cut a little bit of them here because he could be He's anything like my beagle. She's got brown and white spots. So I'm just going to kind of outline him and then maybe leave him um, a little bit more covered. There we go. Maybe I'll come back with a little tiny bit of black for that little, that little doggy nose. Oh, there you go. That doesn't look too bad. It looks all right. You'll see on the other one, when we go to make the card, I kind of covered the whole dog and I wasn't thrilled. All right, so let's put down some Poppy Parade because that's going to be our card base when we get this all cut up. Um, but we're just going to, I'm not going to be able to use this one because like I said, I have to let this dry. Got to get some more water on there. Okay. And the weird thing about this is when you go to open them, it's opposite. You know, it's like righty tighty, lefty loosey, except for here, it's lefty tighty, righty loosey. So that's, it, it, that took a bit of time, a bit to get used to that it wasn't sort of the normal way to un to open them. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're working. It's like opposite of how you think it's going to open. I've got her mug down there for some coffee or tea or warm apple cider, eggnog, whatever you want. I'm a coffee gal, so I kind of like my coffee. I'm just gonna keep doing the blanket. All right, she's gonna get a little bit of color on there for her blanket okay let's put some down here i gotta get these lines because obviously she's kind of laying on the bed or the couch or wherever she's curled up reading with her faithful pup okay all right there we have it there you go so let's go ahead and see what happens we're going to set that aside to dry and once it's all dried you can go ahead and cut it down. I'm gonna cut it out with a circle, okay? And I'm gonna layer it over some of the mossy meadow. I kind of used some mossy meadow for her socks and that mug. I cleaned up my desk and now I can't find anything. I was like, where's my adhesive? But it's in a nice little container where it's supposed to be easy to find right in front of me. So, Yahoo. This is that Hostess Only Set Pattern Party. And I just, I love this designer series paper. I love that one side is just black and white. It's such a great designer series paper, I think. Okay, for the inside, I stamped. Um, sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. We're just going to go ahead and put that in there. And this is going to go up to my girlfriend in Massachusetts, who is undergoing uh, chemotherapy for brain cancer. So I think this will be a nice little thing to send to her to let her know that I'm thinking of her, I'm keeping her in my prayers and uh, hoping that it all goes well for her. It's, it's been a rough couple of months. So if anybody else wants to offer up a few prayers for Karen and her road to recovery, that would be appreciated. I'm just gonna put that right there and then we're going to add some of our new iridescent gems. Again, if I could find them, here they are. I love these. These are in the July to um, January to June mini catalog. Love them. Love them. Love them. Uh, it's like, where's my pick tool? There it is. I'm telling you, I cleaned up and I can't find anything now. All right, I'm just going to scatter these on there. There's different sizes. There's like a small, medium, and large. And I'm just going to kind of randomly put those on there, but that's it. So I would encourage you, if you haven't tried um, our pastels, I would encourage you to do so. They are a marvelous coloring tool. Like I said, you can use them just wet. You can use them dry. Um, you know, pick up, a, a, these are like, I think $3. They're not much, but get yourself a set of these aqua painters or these water color pens or whatever they whatever they call them. I have to look in the catalog and play around, you know, try different things. You can use these for um, the pastels. You can use them with like our ink refills. You put a, just put a dab of ink 
on our one of our clear blocks and you can you know use that to to paint with and color so try it you know you might you might discover a new way to color and it might just be something that you'll enjoy all right that's it for me see you all next week bye